This is Sweden, the small island of Öland to be exact. We've come to find out about a typical Swedish dish that originated here. And here it is, Kropkaka. Eva Pedersen is one of the best Kropkaka chefs around. In the summer, tourists line up at her snack bar to buy these filled dumplings. Eva Pedersen and her team make more than 3,000 every day. The main ingredients of this Swedish specialty are potatoes and bacon. Most of the potatoes must be stored for a number of months, as Eva Pedersen explains. You cannot cook crop cocker on only new potatoes. You must have old potatoes also in them. It is very much more water sterkelse in the new potatoes. You must have old potatoes also. Along with potatoes and bacon, onions are a vital ingredient for crop kaka. Eva Pedersen buys hers at one of the many farmers' markets on Öland. Here it's self-service. You pay self here in this boutique, and I buy for 35 crowns, and I put it here. We trust on everyone. Back at Eva's Kopkaka boat, it's time to peel the potatoes. Luckily, there's a machine to do that. Eva Pedersen is actually a farmer, not a cook. She opened her snack bar over 25 years ago because she wanted to make something from her own crop. After the potatoes are pressed, a starch settles at the bottom of the potato water. The starch is needed to help the dumplings stick together while cooking, so Eva Pedersen scrapes it off and mixes the starch with the potato. To this potato mixture, she adds flour, water, and a little bit of cooked and pressed potato. This recipe is uh, from my, my grandmother's mother, so it's very old. In Öland, it is very much a woman, and every woman has her own. So uh, the, the crop cocker is not the, the same if you go and eat the neighbor or the other neighbor. The crop cocker is not the same, so everyone has their own. Little secret. <laughs> she doesn't want to reveal her great-grandmother's secret recipe, but we did find out what gives her dumplings that special taste. She adds allspice to the bacon filling, giving it those aromatic notes of pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. The dumplings should all be the same size, and... When we put in the meat here, it's very important to don't have any ear inside. You must press, just press it out. Otherwise, the dumplings will fall apart during the 60 minutes they spend cooking in boiling water. As soon as they sink to the bottom, they're done. Kropkaka has its origins on Öland. Krop means a dumpling made from flour and water that's cooked in broth, while kaka means cake or cookie. Back in the 18th century, kopkaka was poor people's food. Made from wheat or barley flour, it was filled with fish. When potatoes started being grown on a large scale in the 19th century, Swedes made kropkaka from them. Using cooked and grated raw potatoes, the dumplings were filled with bacon and onions. In some parts of Sweden, they're served as potato pancakes, not dumplings. Eva Pedersen uses a simple system to keep order in the kitchen. The pots are numbered. Eva writes a number and the time the dumplings should be ready on a whiteboard. Number 13, it's already 11 o'clock. Good. Eva Pedersen serves her potato dumplings with cream, lingonberry jam and butter. So how do they taste? Delicious. It tastes a bit like Christmas because of the allspice. But Swedes eat kropkaka all year round, not just at Christmas. No one can wait that long. These filled dumplings, lovingly made by hand, are simply too tasty.